will be one of the last and will be ready to get the show on the road. Gates go back and they are off and racing from that 1600 meter mark and it wasn't a bad start for them. There's a few that are mustering up to look for the speed up there. Right up there's Clap of Thunder with a white cap behind them is Prince of Heaven also on the improve and Vuvuzela Umlilo is trying to get over into a good position and there goes Vuvuzela Umlilo with the yellow jacket as maybe a one length leader but further pressure comes from So Dasha who now rips around runners. Clap of Thunder settled into third chasing Cheetahs is in fourth against the fence is Prince of Heaven with the white cap. White which has got six or seven to make up Talia's Galaxy is further back in running. Then we go back to Texas Tornado. Maya's Cat is easily 10 lengths off the leader. Pionite is racing with the red sleeves and the red cap and then comes twice the Saints and out back is the 7-2 to two pop opening ceremony and that's about 13 lengths off the leader. Up the lane they go for the first this afternoon and it's so Dasher in front from Vuvuzela Lilo in second. On the inside is Prince of Heaven and then comes Chasing Cheetahs. Clap of Thunder's got four or five to make up. Texas Tornado wears opening ceremony towards the middle of the track. Still 10 lengths off them. They inside the 400 and so Dasha feels pressure. On the inside is Prince of Heaven. Clap of Thunder, Vuvuzela Lilo. Then comes Chasing Cheetahs. Behind that one is Pionite. But in front is Clap of Thunder. Vuvuzela Lilo trying to lift to the outside. Pionite's on the inside with so Dasha. Opening ceremony starting to catch the eye. Clap of Thunder. Opening ceremony lashing home. Clap of Thunder's going to win it from opening ceremony. Then came So Dasha on the inside and further back was Pionites. And it's a photo five and ten for third and fourth and you can see Clap of Thunder now picks it up under Wayne Agrella. Well done to the owners. Miss HJ Reddy to Mrs. WGC Miller and to NJ Paddock, congratulations. Clapper Thunder is going to get it right this afternoon, afternoon rather, to beat opening ceremony number nine. In Well, the Mr. Miller, Clippy Miller Yard is back on song and they are turning those winners out so well deserved because it's been a bit of a hard period where they've been really straight up and honest with the public out there about a virus. They're over it and they are flying. And Wayne, great to be associated with them when they're flying like this. Although in saying that, you stuck with them through the hard times as well. So you're both well deserved. Yeah, thank you very much, Nate. Um, yeah, I wasn't here for a while. But it also, I mean, like, same as the little niggle that we had. It's all in a pass, so, you know, like I said, it's upwards and onwards, upwards, or off, or upwards, onwards, or something like that. But yeah, I mean, uh, as long as you're riding one, it's that's main thing. It certainly is. And you've got to tell us about this guy, because I know that um, the work he's been showing at home and the form that he previously ran to in the, in the high belt um, was really useful, and it ha he has been a little bit disappointing. But um, today he's brought it, and yeah. what can you attribute that to? Nate, um, no, we don't want to keep on going back to it. Maybe it could have been that thing we are talking about. Maybe not. I mean, um, we did try to, try to blink it. I think the blinkers were pacifiers mm -hmm. and a tongue tie. And I saw the horses run with it. It wasn't too good. And I went in, I think it was Wednesday. I sat down with Nick and I said to him, maybe we try to take the tongue tie off because I looked at the Joburg runs. They never yeah. had tongue tie, nothing on. And he got beat short, it short, it second, second. And he came here. And the run with me was very, very disappointing. But it's also going over 2,000. Yeah. Today, back to the mile, I said, let's start fresh. Run him like, like Houston Joe can. Like you say, I mean, well, we're going to think we're clever, but that works, so that's the main thing. That certainly is the main thing. Wayne, going forward, you've got two more rides. I know it's hard to ask you about them because you're actually riding both of them for the first time. But on paper, light without one, a really good race last time out. Yeah. He bumps the right field. And, and Willow Lane, back of a break, the answers could need, but working well. Yeah, look, I haven't, I haven't sat on it, but Gavin, um, normally when Tara gets me right, I believe what they tell me in the ring. So also another horse who brings his form will go close. The one I'm riding for, the Keknesses, race five, I made it my best ride for the day. Uh, the way it won with Rachel. If you look at the two previous runs before that, very, very unlucky. So, huge runner. Um, I'll respect him, I'll put him in everything. I honestly think it also won, so let's see if I'm a judge or not. Well, we'll keep our eye on him. I, thank you very I much. Think, uh, I also think a bit of his chances today, so great to hear such confidence. Thank you very much. Um, just big thank you to the Milliot, to Nicholas, yeah. doing a good job while Uncliff is not here. But, um, 
you'll be back tomorrow, the day after. And thank you to the other partners of us. I mean, just great for writing one as well. Fantastic. Thank you well very much. Done, Wayne. Nick standing by, he's going to come and have a chat with me now, and this is uh, the, the so real epitome of the yard here, as uh, Heather Reedy, Cliffy Miller, and Nick Paddock own this one. So come on in, Marilyn, because they are members of the Racehorse Owners Association, and uh, this is a bonus race, so they've got the win to smile about, they've got the check to smile about, there's a lot to smile about. And Nick, I think most of all, I know you're going to be happy with the fact that he wasn't, he is shown today the horse that you know he is. Yeah, I think we made a bit of a mistake putting the tongue on him, but he did make a noise in work, so we thought maybe to try it with him, but yeah. like Wayne said, him and I, we sat down, we thought, you know, his best runs have been without any headgear on, and we took the chance, and it really came out well. Yeah, it well, certainly did, and uh, um, Wayne would have known him back from track, he's ridden him beautifully this afternoon. Yeah, the main thing is, you know, sometimes he tends to stop, but bringing him back to the, back to the mile, he got to know him in his last start, so everything turned out to be... Perfect. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Nick, well done. Thanks again. Thank always so forthcoming with your comments regarding this horse, and you've always maintained that he'll get it right. I'm really glad he has. Congratulations. Thank you. And just uh, well done to Cliffy and Heather, and then well done to Hollywood, our sponsors. Most definitely. Thank you. Well done to Nick. A great result there for the yard. I'm so glad they've bounced back so well. So in the absence of Mr. Miller and, of course, of Heather, very, very well done. Training and as well as being the owners here. Great check to enjoy. And, of course, to Nick and Wayne, well done as well.